hey, I'm Lou. I'm from Lou Paints and um, I'm the miniature painting coach and we're going to continue off from the last time we were painting. Let's kind of place this here as usual and then, whoops, so you guys can kind of see the rest of what's going on here. And this is where we left off the last time. We did our darks above our base color. <gasps> so we didn't do black and whites first? What? Cheating magic is this? Well, I mean, you can do your lights and darks in time. There's nothing stopping you. Personally, um, I think for something with this this kind of intense light, I tend to put the underlaid color first because uh, after I put the black, there's a little bit of saturation that's shown. And then when I put another layer of color on top of it later on, it, it will just be bright enough to translate that transition of where the human eye kind of adjusts to darkness. So over here, it's fine. But over here, we see something wrong. And that something wrong is really bugging me. Because there's something wrong is with her face. Like, she's, she doesn't look that well. Right? So, and yet, there's that mark on that sword that's, that's bugging me as well. So we're going to handle the face today. And I'm going to make sure to bring her pretty close in. Because I need to make sure that I both, I can see it and that you guys can see it. Um, and it's not too dark. Um, let me see. So this will be a bit tricky. So let me take this first. And then I will need to get rid of that black line at the back there. So we will do that. I really like how I did that sword the first time for the base layer. And we want to make sure that we get that part clean. Oops, what's going on? My brush is too hard. This is not a wet brush. Can't wet blend with a dry brush make it wet first and damp okay there we go let's just kind of take a little bit of paint and make use of my brush here while it's just still a little bit hard a uh, little bit hard a brush that's a little bit hard a hard stick whoops there we go kind of go at it a little bit lightly here Go ahead and white. And then we add a little bit of light, yellow, not a lot, just a bit. It's like, why am I fixing this mistake when I might go over it later? Um, it saves time. Simple as that. And to be honest, like, it actually helps to define the undershading of the in overall of the miniature that's kind of how I go at it so that I don't have to reimagine what's in my head and then I'm gonna add a little bit of teal just a little bit onto this portion over here because I would like to show off a little bit of green uh, later on from the annotations of the clothing just a little bit more and so this will be our base coat for our uh, non-metallic metal before we go with the true metallic metal because true metallic metal is just basically non-metallic metal with metallics over it <laughs> which uh, if it's done properly um, uh, in, in one of the methods it's not the only way to do it there's a lot of ways to do uh, non-metallic metal or true metallic metal. Oh, my cat's coming over. There we go. I hope you guys don't mind the meowing because my cat does have uh, need to be around because she just had surgery. So I, she does need to make sure that she has somebody around in case uh, she does uh, something to cause her wound. She had to be stitched up. Okay, let's see what I was... Okay, okay, there we go. Got distracted a moment there. So I need to kind of display the whites right now. So I'm kind of mixing up a little bit of white and a little bit of skin tone. Very, very gently going at it. And making it uh, just... Sticky enough and not too wet. Okay, now white. Okay, I'm going to use a longer brush. Having a monogram brush is really great 
this brush is gonna be a little bit longer. Whoops, it needs to be wet and straightened. There we go. It's more straightened now. Let's just make sure we straight, fully straighten that. Now, let's just go ahead and take this white a little bit and just kind of like stipple it on top of places where we want. All right, go. <laughs> Make sure I don't hit that camera. It's a truly a difficult habit to paint with around, around the camera. Okay, let's just kind of depend on this a moment. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, this white needs to be subtle. So now, since I've kind of plopped on some paint over there, I'll just kind of remove a little bit of paint. Alright. To kind of allow that to sink in for a moment, and then we'll just kind of ease this off to the side. Okay, so you have that. We'll take this uh, dark uh, ink that we mixed earlier and place it underneath that chin to really pull out that uh, shadow, make it translate well. We'll probably need some underneath as well here as well. There we go. Then we need to refine the face. So I guess today we'll just work on the face. And I too rather do like defining the face first because once you define the face, the rest of the model feels really easy to catch up. Like you want, once you have that example for the rest of your miniature to follow, uh, whatever the miniature might be, it becomes a lot more easier to uh, to show what um what you're working on there will also be a tiny annotation of darkness underneath the other eye all right and we need to bring off that shadow down and around here in the mouth sleep pache that's my cat's name she really needs to heal up. I don't want to take any risks with her wound. She had uh, like a surgery on both spaying and then removing a, uh, a a tumor. So let's not go any further than that. I might discuss somebody. Okay, so let's do it like this. You can see that the shading for the face is all around pretty okay. Not enough for me. Never satisfied. Okay, let's just kind of shake the inks. Put it down here, and then we'll kind of glare at her for a moment from afar, because um, I actually need to think and observe. Because observing the miniature at this point is really important. What's missing? What's that circular thing on the head? Oh, it's a it's. I was trying to figure out what this thing is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a circle down here. I didn't realize, notice that earlier. Let's just kind of go through it. Let's just darken that. We will add highlights on these later on. Not now. Okay. Go down here like this. Okay, and then now we can actually wet blend that and define the face. Okay. Do you like me a properly painted face? Let's take some more. Need gonna be a bit more black. Then in here. Oh, there, there we go. That was really irritating me. 
not getting that shell. Let's put the annotation underneath the nose. That lip as well. Now that I have a much more controlled brush ink. And then we'll take this and then we'll wet it. Oops, and then we'll wet it out. Here, and you guys should be able to see that uh, the changes in the face now. Pretty nice, I'd say. Not satisfying enough, but pretty nice. Okay, now I have definitely gone a little bit too far. So we on this portion of the face, so we're just gonna bring that highlight a little bit, uh, and you guys should be able to see that. I'm actually going to focus the camera. There we go. Hopefully that's not too rough for you guys to be able to see. This is really zoomed in, like if I could like go even more closer. Look at the face. Alright, and it's such a good way for to kind of determine her like actual structure. The integrity of her shadows rather. Just to double check, and we can really appreciate that. So, there's also one kind of shadow that we're missing, that we're not getting is the hair in the pen over here, and we need to make sure that we get that mark on the head. Uh, where else? Here as well, it's kind of tipping me off a bit. These fingers. These fingers can be a little bit lighter because we do need some kind of a way to hint that her hand actually exists. It can't be in too dark. Okay. There we go. And we also get a little bit black. And put it on this blade once more. On this side. Right. And over here. On this side. There we go. And we'll just leave it a little bit down here where it curves in because it will get um bounced back by the by the rest. So let's just make sure to alter that and kind of look at it from afar and kind of make our good judgments. Let's see. So we've already done at the green annotation and the sword. We have kind of Tell me where our ducks are going to be and can see where the lights are going to be for the most part. We need to slowly build it up. Uh, particularly, whoops, uh, particularly to do with the, uh, uh, the shadow. There should be a more shadow down underneath here, so we'll get, make sure to get that. Now that we know what we're missing. And we just simply put it down here like so bring out her womanly figure carefully dot it up okay Down here. Okay. We also want to make sure we get the part of the her hair in good good line shadow over here. And let's get this part as well. Okay. So as you can see, her face is really coming together. I'm going to add some occlusion at the base there. We need to add some more occlusion back here. So occlusion is the lines that you see around people in shadows. Kind of to not make sense. So let's say I take my uh, two thumb, my thumb and my index finger over here. If I pinch 
right? You guys will see a line. And the line that I'm talking about is uh, this line over here. So you guys can see these lines over here, right? Where my brush is kind of stroking, right? These lines. And uh, when you learn any form of, uh, in the art industry or art fundamentals and anything to do with line shadow, they teach you that this thing is called occlusion. It's the, this, this line that we have here that make up the dark. <coughs> This this really dark line that you kind of see, which they kind of have to fake it in cartoons, so that kind of can let the character pop out. So that's what we were doing with the uh, the side of a face. So that at certain angles you will see a line. Uh, let me see. Talking now. In this okay, so so right now it's satisfactory. The, the light to me. It's satisfactorily, uh, it's satisfactory enough, just enough. So we're going to focus that here now, and we are going to uh, let me see. Oops, make sure we get the face a little bit, do a little bit more at the time. And I do apologize for the um, knocking the camera and stuff like that. It's because it's just kind of tough to want to show you guys what I see in my first person view and at the same time oh there we go oh nice we got it um, we also need one more and still keep the camera and everything stable uh, while I'm doing all this okay really tiny dots let's just bring the camera in real quick there we go Oops. That takes practice painting with a camera in front of my face. Okay, so we're gonna do this. These are kind of like those creepy ASMR videos. Oh, I'm not saying ASMR videos are creepy, but uh, some kind of are. I actually do uh, listen to some ASMR once in a while. Okay, so let's see what, what's uh, missing. Okay, there we go. I think this is enough. Now, what, what we do need is we need to get rid of the yellow. The yellow is um, a bit too, too much. <laughs> so we, we'll get, get some skin color. And we are also going to add um, something in contrast that we're going to add some, some teeny, 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 teeny amount of uh, that shadow color which we had earlier. We're going to go it over on this side. And kind of brush up, make, make strokes to kind of even it out. So you're kind of seeing that there's a wet layer now, which is good. We're going to add a little bit more shadow at certain parts, like here, here, just to kind of make that in union. Let's go at one more. Whoop. Whoop. Go and do the face. There we go. And we will also make sure to add some teeny little bit of white that's already been tinned out enough so that we can get rid of that overly saturated yellow on some spots. There we go. That's actually where we want it the most. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, here. Hi. Nice to see you, little bugger. Okay, there we go. Let's get that. Okay. And we're going to let that rest on the face for now. And then, let's just uh, make sure we mix our whites a little bit. And what do I mean by that is, um, so let's kind of zoom out over here. And if we see our wet palette, Place our Betronian over here, and see. I always have a dead brush 
if this is what happens with a wet palette if you can leave it around for a while especially in hot countries is that the pigment color pigments or rather the white pigment or the mediums just kind of break apart so you know this because you see a bubble on top that's just like it seems like water but it's just like something translucent on it so what ha it, what you need to do is just kind of dab it on like this right just kind of just shake it with a brush and I mean it's not going to work like weeks down the line because then you need to change that uh, that paint or you can do your best and try add medium into it but um, it will just keep becoming more and more like rough textured so there's always going to be like an expiry date for white because it's much more harder to maintain white as a single um, single piece okay so we're gonna get on the major highlights now so that we have a marker point so we got the, the nose get that a little bit more there we go both sides mark that ish in between the eye Okay, yeah, our white has already dried up on our brush because white is such the magical magical paint. Okay, let's see. As a paint, it's really, really tough. Which is a good thing because then you can use it to undercoat certain things. Okay, so you can see how I'm just kind of like doing this. And now I'm going to spread that out a little bit. All right, you can see that it has a soft, nice soft gradient to it. That's how we're going, we're going to paint our face. That's how we are painting the face. All right, so you notice how I didn't like paint the face using one base color of my skin. The re reason why she seems like she's skin color is because at the beginning of my uh, color sketch, unfortunately, I didn't record that face. I took yellow and I just kind of pasted over her, right? And then I took a magenta and just kind of pasted over her. Really thin. I mean, she was initially Zenith Primed uh, white. Actually, no, no she, she wasn't Zenith Primed white. She was white all over. Like, there was no darks on it. Um, there was no black on this miniature at all, so I only introduced black after I put all of the uh, the the base colors on top. So she was never primed in the zenithal way, and that's because I wanted to her to receive the light in this way. So make sure that's clear and correct. Okay, so just making sure to get that light from her face. So you can see how her face is coming along. And it seems like she's really receiving the light. Really well, really well. Okay, and then we're just gonna add a touch of magenta, uh, a lick of magenta after we tint it, just a teeny bit amount on certain places, especially to do with this eye here. I think you guys can see what's going on now, All right? The lips. Just gonna dot it out. See how I'm not rushing it. Right. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit of magenta um, that I've already kind of tinted a little bit more and then put it onto her eye at odd angles to redden her face. And to saturate the darks as well, which is an important step right now. So she did bridge towards the nose. Just kind of get that softly. You can see that's a little bit too much, so we'll spread it out. All right. And then we want to make sure we, because magenta is a pre, it chalks up like white as well in certain thinness 
Okay, so we will add this white here really subtly and just let them mix up together. Okay, just making sure that my brush is a uh, it's nice and just has a slight curve to it. And that curve is going to help me stifle. Okay. See, we have a nice shade going on. And that's actually pretty important. So we are going to take just a little bit of white. Bring it here. Bring it here. Add annotations. We're just going to add annotations. So what I mean by annotations is just uh, we're marking up several spots to make it seem like um, there's some brightness to certain parts when there isn't. Okay, and then we are going to take our skin color and then really thin it down because we don't want much skin color. And then we're going to itch at that face just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then we're going to fade it off. Like so. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Just take our time. Fading that face. Fading that face. I got a haircut recently. And my barber, that's what my barber does to my hair. He fades it off too. Just the way I like it. On the sides. Makes it really cooling. Relaxed. Okay. You can kind of see that. Uh, that. Nice. That annotation of the face. Makes it so her face has this kind of gl glimmer. We need to m clean it up of course. Because it's just some moments on the face. That's uh, like. It's like dots. For no reason. Right. So we're just going to clean it up. Look over here. Oops. Let's take a little bit more white. There are the two areas. Over here. The nose. And then we are going to take our brush and slick it down. Slick this out. Okay. You can see how I'm being really gentle, right? And we need one more white annotation for the eyelid that's on top. Just like this. You can see that the bright is really bright. Okay, what about the eye? Well, we're actually going to make her eyes... Uh, hmm. What would be the color that stands out among these? It would be a cyan mixed with prime. It would be a primary cyan. So let's just kind of zoom out here, and we'll kind of do that south. The other that's one eye. We we'll add this, which is a golden primary cyan, and we'll kind of pop it down here, just very little bit like that. Right. And before our painting session goes off, we will. Add this here, and then we'll add these two together. Take a bit more over here. And it's okay if this, those two cyan mix, uh, those that teal and that cyan mix, because essentially they're all from the same family of turquoise anyway. So okay, so now I have this. I can do that dark tone, and then it's probably time for Tulu, because then I'll continue that eye in the next session. Let me just need to get this. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm not so worried about that dark. Okay, so let's just kind of see what we uh, have already done here. Let's clean up that eye in the next session. Whoa, my camera was freaking out. Okay, don't freak out, camera. Okay, so kind of see over here. We've already done what we can on the face, and there's a nice little blue glimmer. Okay, how. Tulu everybody, 